Sini Malta Pahugia da Gehua Gazette. A gazette was issued capping the maximum retail price of sugar at 65 rupees a kilo. However, it is being sold at 120 rupees in the market. The special commodity levy of 50 rupees on imported sugar was lifted recently. As a result, the government lost 7 billion rupees in tax revenue. The tax was lifted on the 30th of October. A company named Vilma that is linked to the Shangri-La company then imported 36,000 tons of sugar on the 2nd of November. Has this happened in Sri Lanka before? As a result of lifting the tax, the government lost revenue, while the people did not receive financial relief. Ultimately, a few businessmen earned profits. They imported sugar at 80 rupees a kilo and are selling them at 120 rupees. We wish to question the government on who is benefiting through this. While the rice mafia continues to exist, a sugar mafia has also been created. The Agriculture Ministry has issued a letter to release 5,000 acres of state land to the avant-garde company for the cultivation of 40,000 acres of corn. This shows that large-scale companies are acquiring lands in the country. <laughs> I have the letter with me. I would appreciate if the land was not given to them, but the letter in my possession shows that the ministry has ordered the allocation of 5,000 acres of land to the avant-garde company to implement a pilot project for the cultivation of 40,000 acres of corn. Should we offer state lands to private companies? 5,000 acres of land adjacent to the Somavatiya National Park was offered to the US-based Dole Company. 1,800 acres of land near the Palavata Sugar Company was also offered to the Dole Company. If this continues, will the future generation have access to land in the country? The young generation of farmers do not have lands to cultivate as well. They do not have lands to at least construct houses. If the agriculture sector is to be developed in the country, lands must be made available for the young generation. They must not be offered to the avant-garde or US-based Dole company for various projects. Minister SM Chandrasena attempted to gazette 22,500 acres of land in Kantale. The entire land was given away to a company. It belongs to the farmers of our country. Farmers cultivated sugarcane across two and a half acres targeting the Kantale sugar factory. That land belongs to 11,000 farmers. Minister SM Chandrasena operated the bulldozer in favour of the company and not the farmers. The practice of giving away state land to companies must stop. There are five ministers related to the agriculture industry in this house, including Mahinda Nanda Alut Gamage, Kanaka Herat, Siripala Gamlat, and Anuradha Jaratna. We were under the impression that Mahinda Nanda Alut Gamage is a close contact of Mahinda Rajpaksa's cluster. But based on the ministry and the subjects that he has received, we understand that he has been distanced from the group. When 24 billion was allocated for his ministry, we saw that the allocation of 18 billion was made for Shashindra Rajapaksa. Our state minister for fertilizer has been allocated 32 billion. You only have three state bodies under your purview. The state minister for paddy, Shashindra Rajapaksa, has six institutions under his belt. The state fertilizer minister and DB Herat have four institutions each. I am speaking in support of you. I know that you are a capable person. The government has used you to fulfill their objectives while sidelining you from their circle. Accusations, opinions and proposals were put forward in the House. We will consider all of them in our attempt to uplift this industry. The primary objective of our ministry is to formulate a national policy for agriculture. We hope to finalize that in a year. By providing farmers with fertilizer and the required technology, we expect to witness the production of chili, potato and onion seeds required by the country in three years. Give us some time. Rice is not being sold at the stipulated rates in the market and we are publishing gazettes to counter this problem. Several accusations were leveled against the government regarding paddy. To stop these allegations from being levelled during next year's budget debate, the ministry has decided to purchase 1,000 kilos of paddy from all farmers who receive fertiliser free of charge. We need to counter the monopoly on rice. To do that, we should have paddy stocks in our possession. Therefore, we will purchase them from farmers and establish a standard purchasing price for farmers and a ceiling price for consumers. Certain opposition parliamentarians lamented that only few institutions are under my purview. Therefore, I appreciate the opposition for speaking on behalf of my worries. But remember that we only have one cabinet minister for this subject. I and Chamal Rajpaksa did not face several accusations. Therefore, let us join hands to uplift the agriculture industry regardless of our political differences. Sena gasi tu anda. Apa yang kau mekatekah? Wela khati itu kerumah ini kerja jodohnya kerumah. Mama ni ada orang bom setuju.